Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 09 September. Very quiet session in Asia. Uh, we left it on uh, Friday with Powell at uh, 110.27. We've been 15.29 here um, in Asia. So no real, no real drama. Everything is kind of just where we left things. Um, so let's let's have a look on what's going to happen today and what we think the opportunities will be. It doesn't look great uh, at first blush. As far as the day ahead is concerned, we don't see any real major data releases or central bank speakers. Um, so not much going on there. In the UK, we do have July GDP. So that's very backward looking. Not sure how much of a a boost that's going to be. Uh, inflation out of Mexico. If you trade the MEX, um, that's today. And we do actually have BOEs. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Vig, whatever. There's a Bank of England guy speaking today. So. Um, not too much as far as the data and the speeches are concerned. I guess a little bit from the UK, a little bit from Mexico. Um, slim pickings. Let's see what the charts are saying. Euro dollar. We like topside euro dollar, but it's right in the middle of nowhere now. Uh, you know, we obviously have support down there at 75, which was last Wednesday's break up. And now we've been bookended now with these bars here. This is a turn bar. This up here, even though it's mid-range, it looks like a bit of a turn bar. Um, not much to do in Euro. Gun to your head. Uh, we're buyers of Euro heading into ECB. Uh, but so much time to go before we get there. It's hard. Um, it's hard to think of any good way to make money today uh, in euro sterling uh, so many sort of distortions within the brexit world makes this uh, again super difficult uh, the charts are basically saying we're back in the range here we do like uh, long sterling against the crosses that's more of a medium to a long-term position the cable itself, nothing to do here at 122.77. The breakout artists up at uh, 123.15 have all now been stopped. And we're just kind of right back in the middle with so many tangents to this story. What's Boris going to do? When's the election going to be? I mean, you can go on and on. It's very, very difficult to put together a simple... Uh, an effective trading plan and of course that's what we're always looking for something very simple uh, and effective so we'll just avoid cable today dollar yen feels like she wants to go higher um, 107.23 was the high last week stocks remain elevated for the moment but I would say it's a precarious elevation uh, we'll get to stocks in a minute, but for now, dollar yen looks like it wants to go higher. Nothing happened overnight. 76.02. We're right in the middle here. Just got to keep an eye on this uh, 107 and a quarter now. Sort of a long-term pivot. You can see back here, uh, mid-July, these were the lows. Once we got through them, that was the that was the voyage down to 105. So keep an eye 10 107 and a quarter. Dollar Swiss turned around. Uh, we're totally lost in Dollar Swiss. Seems odd. An American living in Switzerland who just has no idea how to trade Dollar Swiss. Um, looked really bearish, then it looked really bullish, and then out of the blue it kind of collapsed. This trend line is now a three pointer. Kind of interesting. Um, we're just avoiding this puppy for now because. Euro Swiss and Dollar Swiss have caused us a little bit of grief. 
so we're just kind of staying away from it for the moment but through that trend line looks like we have more upside euro swiss looks pretty robust 10906 um, now we have all kinds of highs up here at 10930 through there uh, and there's quite a bit of upside but of course this will depend on the sort of global macro picture and the geopolitical picture um, but 109.30 is important in Euro Swiss. Uh, dollar CAD turned nicely. A few little jigs lower uh, on positive employment. Traded down to 64 today. Here we are bouncing around the lows. CAD yen higher. Dollar CAD lower. We like both of these trades. Um, yeah, you can probably sell this between 80 and 10 today. Uh, on a sort of light expected range. Uh, the real uh, resistance doesn't come in until, um, like the stronger resistance, I should say, doesn't come in until 132, sort of 25, 55. But we don't really expect to see it up there. Uh, CAD yen, real slow burner. Uh, now it's broken up through these highs, 16, 17 has some room up here so we like cad yen long uh, got a good hundred points on the top side to to get kind of fits in with our we like dollar yen longs we like dollar cad shorts obviously that's cad yen higher let's go to s and p's real quick 80 90 overnight 2980 the low 2989 the high um, three little highs up here not much to say except for the fact that we will be selling this today uh, between 29.98 and 3,000. This could top out here. Looks like there's some congestion here at 90. I don't know why, um, but we'll have to see. We're very skeptical of this move up, and we will take opportunities to try and sell high ones today. And we'll take a hard look at this. Um, if we can get back into this sort of back below 45, uh, 29.45. Right now, we recognize the bullish structure here, but um, we are skeptical. And quickly to bonds. This thing looks like it wants to turn, but it sure is a slow, slow turner. We did make a new low, uh, 28 on Friday, but we did not hold down there. Now we're 131.08. Um, we're short bonds. Um, we're short boons. We'll just have to see how to look at these from the uh, rate perspective. So it looks like this is a turn. Rate's higher. Be nice to get through 166 it's 10 basis points away so not today but we'll have to see boons on the other hand up day so rates lower uh, on Friday getting close to having to cut this we're gonna cut it at 62 basis points we're at 64 we do think this is turning obviously the big day is, is um, ECB this week so we want to keep our powder dry and ready for that ideally we get down through 57 basis points beforehand so we can breathe a little bit um, let's just see what happens finally Euro Norway for those of you who have been patient enough to hold this uh, this guy she looks like she's ready to go down now through these range lows um, the first support is kind of 87.50 and then through that you know we've got 83 but we really expect this thing to head down to 71 your Norway short looks okay especially with crude on the 57 handle again lots of jaw boning from Pompeo and and the monkeys in Washington about uh, Iranian oil shipments over the weekend I won't bore you with any of that but I think that's uh, creating a marginal bid um, in crude for today. That's all I got for you today on the opening call. Not a whole lot to sink our teeth into. Uh, 
CAD yen will be a focus, trading that from the long side. Uh, but we're keeping it light, nothing five star here. Powder dry, um, waiting for better setups before we fully engage. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Uh, I will catch you all tomorrow. Ciao.